y'all. Hi, welcome back to my channel. So, I leave for my very first snowboarding trip ever in T minus, I guess like two and a half days. <laughs> and well, let's just say, I am the worst packer in history. I'm not really a traveler. I've not really traveled that much in my life. The last time I was like out of the province, out of the country was in 2018. And I went to Mexico with my family, which is a completely different packing scenario than a trip to somewhere where I'm spring skiing. Cause you know, if you're in Mexico in April, Basically all you need is like shorts and dresses and bathing suits. <laughs> so a ski trip is something completely, or a snowboarding trip, whatever, it's something completely, completely new to me. Quite foreign actually. Uh, and yes, I'm just a little bit stressed. I think I mostly have it covered and the Airbnb that my boyfriend and I are staying at has a washer dryer. So like I don't have to pack so much, things can be washed, etc. But today, I thought it would be fun to do a little pack with me in terms of makeup and toiletries, skincare, all the things. Um, both of these bags, I think, kind of need to be streamlined. They're quite big. Uh, both of them are going into my checked baggage, so I don't really have to worry about like clear bags and whatnot, although I am expecting an Amazon delivery because I realized that I didn't have like a clear plastic toiletry bag, which I might actually swap out for this just in case I have any kind of like spillage. And then at least I know that like things aren't gonna soak through and potentially ruin clothes in my suitcase. So I think we're just going to jump right in and do a little bit of an overhead situation here. And yeah, we're just gonna figure out what I'm gonna pack together. Now, I'm going to be there for, from a Wednesday to a Sunday, so that's, it's like eight days, 10 days, 11 days. I don't know, I like not a Wednesday to a Sunday, like in one week, a Wednesday to the next, like the following Sunday. So like a week and a half, but it's a ski trip. It's all gonna be pretty casual. I don't really foresee myself wearing like that much makeup, but I wanna have my basics, like probably everything that I put on my face today, which is just like a very simple kind of like no makeup makeup vibe. I think I said this in my previous video, but the biggest concern in all of this is like sunscreen and waterproof mascara in terms of like face. <laughs> but I'm also just totally comfortable having a bare face most days. You know, it's, my boyfriend and I have been together for a year. He's seen me without makeup and I like my face with no makeup, especially if I'm well rested. So it's just to make sure that I have things in case that I want them. The toiletries is kind of a different story, but yeah, let's just we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go through this together. There is quite a lot of streamlining specifically that needs to be done with the makeup. So let's do this. Okay, so I think we're gonna start with my makeup bag first. And first things first actually is my brushes. This is the little brush bag that I take with me everywhere. This is like kind of my standard makeup travel brush bag. So I've got bronzer, blush, little bit of a powder brush. Ooh, I just realized that my concealer brush is missing. And then I've just got an array of eyeshadow brushes. I really only use like two of these, but I like to keep them all just in case. Sometimes I take this brush with me, but it's kind of big and bulky. And here we go, here's my little concealer brush. So this is just a Quo Beauty angled concealer brush so it's tiny like here you have in comparison and it just it fits so nicely in this bag and it's just nice and tight and compact so we're gonna move that and that this once this is streamlined will fit right inside this little makeup bag so it's quite nice okay let's just dump everything out here 
Ooh, it's dirty. <laughs> okay, so I think the first thing I can definitely say that is gonna go into the bag is my perfume. This is my Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods perfume. If you've been here for a while, you know that I love this one. And there's only a little bit left. It's the rollerball. And so I'm just gonna pop that in and I, it'll probably get finished on this trip. Now there is quite a lot of nonsense in here. This is my standard bronzer. That's distracting. Um, but it's a powder and I really don't wanna bring powder on a plane just in case it busts open um, and breaks. I've been having really bad luck with powder breakage. So I'm actually gonna leave my Anika bronzer here in favor for this new stick bronzer from the brand 1999 and it's one of their new releases and it's great I've like only used it a handful of times stunning color for me um, the lights are a little hot here but it's a beautiful bronzer shade it's what I'm wearing today and it's just nice and compact and this is in the shade T so that is gonna go in the bag and I like that it's just it's small let's see I've got this little teeny tiny hello the lights are so bright okay I just turned down the lights a little bit um, and also just had some technical difficulties here um, but this is just a little sample of the RMS Beauty Reevolve Radiance Locking Primer and I've actually quite enjoyed it um, and just because it's so teeny tiny it was just like a gift with purchase a while ago. It's really, really pretty. Um, and I don't know if I just feel like I wanna be a little extra dewy. It's something nice to have and it's so teeny tiny that it, it kind of really doesn't matter if I stick it in there. It's not taking up a ton of space. Now for blushes, again, similar to my Anika, this is kind of the one that I've been taking around with me. It is another RMS product. It is the Redimension Hydra Powder Blush in the shade Pomegranate Fizz such a gorgeous blush but it's powder and I really would hate for this to break so that is not coming with me and in its place I'm actually going to bring two of my Ritual Defeat Color Nectar Pigment Balms. This is the shade Glasswing. Uh, it's just a really pretty kind of like popsicle stain purple. I love it. It just looks really, really natural on me. And then I've got the shade Bee Sting. I think that's what this is called. Yes, Bee Sting, which is a shade that I've worn and shown a lot. And it is also a very, very natural flush, more pink cleaning than kind of glass wing, which is a little bit more purple. So two different blushes, but creams. And I can just, you know, feel confident that they're not going to get ruined in travel. Now I have a teeny tiny little compact mirror here. I am going to throw that in just in case I don't have a good mirror situation. It's nice and tiny. I can like prop up and do my makeup. I've got another RMS product here. This is my lip lights in the shade Rhapsody or sorry Rhythm. Rhapsody is not yet opened. Um, I'm also gonna bring this just because it's super, super hydrating and if I want any kind of, you know, color to my lip, it's an easy product to wear, but like isn't too much for a ski trip. You know, it's not like gonna give, uh, it's not gonna give a, me away too much as like a makeup wear <laughs> when I might not necessarily want to have that vibe. So that's also gonna go in there. I've got another lip product here, which is actually new to my collection. And this was in one of the new Sephora kits that I picked up um, during the Sephora sale. Guilty, I know that I said that I wasn't shopping and then I ended up doing it and this happened to be in it. It is the Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Bronze Glow. And I put it on for the first time today and absolutely loved it. It's just this really, my lips, but better shiny sheen feels absolutely wonderful on the lips so again it's just like a nice hydrating product it's not going to be cold but it's not going to be warm either i'm still going to be exposed to like wind and various conditions so for lip colors these two are just good to have because they also have great hydrating moisturizing lip care properties let's see complexion we know i don't do foundation but I've this is the concealer that I've been using it is the Juvia's Place concealer in I don't know if this is actually the shade 18 maybe um it's a pretty decent 
shade match for me. It looks a little bright there, but like I've been having some under eye issues lately. So it's been nice for that. Although I really need my under eyes to be super, super hydrated. The only downside is that this is like such a hunky chunky package and it's not that much product. Like I've brought out my Kosas concealer because I think I'm actually going to take this one with me. It's brand new and it's in the shade six, which is my perfect shade starting in like May. <laughs> um, once my skin has had just a little bit more sun. Um, but I really, really like this one because it has that olive undertone, which is what I actually need. Like I, I often find that concealers just don't have the like enough green in them. They're always usually too pink. And so with like a few more days of sun, that shade's gonna be perfect. And I think honestly, the like quantity of product here is pretty much the same. It's just, this is a massive package and this is just a lot more slender. So it's just overall a little bit nicer to have. So that is the one that's gonna come with me. This one will be staying here. I've got, a little Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I know that I've said in the past that I'm like not using Drunk Elephant anymore, but this is another one that kind of came in one of my little Sephora kits. And I am taking sunscreens with me if I want to just like make sure that I'm not getting any kind of cast. It's just always nice to include a little bronzer drop in my sunscreen. So I am gonna bring that as well. Then I also picked up this little teeny tiny Kosas powder. Oh my God, the minis are so cute. It's kind of ridiculous because it's not even like that much more cost effective to buy the mini than like the regular size. But for me personally, I really struggle with using up powder. And so this is the only powder product that I'm going to be bringing. Um, and this is in the shade Comfy. And obviously it is the Cloud Set powder. It is a great shade match for me right now. And you know, if I'm feeling a little too shiny, it's just gonna be the perfect powder to kind of knock down that shine without completely mattifying my face. Okay, I have this Revolution uh, Soap Brow Kit, which I think I'm going to bring. I'm kind of back on the soap brows. It is a little chunky, but I really narrow down the selection in my makeup bag so like I'm not too concerned about that. So I'm gonna put that in there and it is just clear. I'm not doing anything with my colors. I've got this Jason Wu Clear Brow Gel, but I'm just really finding that like a brow gel does not work well for me. I need something that's a little bit waxier to actually give me the kind of fluffy, like laminated brow that I want. So this just feels pointless to bring when it's not something that I'm really enjoying. Okay, eyeshadow. Again, I do not want to bring powder, so I think I'm going to bring this combo of the Ariane Beauty Liquid Eyeshadows. This is the shade TTYL. It's just a really nice neutral brown. And this is the shade Asteroid, and it is obviously a metallic, just in case I want something a little bit more. And then I think just because they're small and I have them, I'm going to bring my two most used eyeliners. This is the Annabelle eyeliner in the shade Chestnut, and it does have a little bit of a coppery tone. It's like very, very similar actually to Asteroid. And then this is the, An or sorry, Marcel eyeliner in dark brown, and this is waterproof. And it's just like the darker shade that I want. And this is like what I prefer to a black. So that is definitely going to come with me as well. And then obviously, Obviously, I've got my Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost in the waterproof one. I actually like to pick up multiples of these when I buy them just because I go through them so quickly in the winter. And this is the mascara that I've been wearing all winter long, including on the days that I've gone snowboarding. So this is definitely coming with me as well. Eyelash curler is a necessity. We've got a whole bunch of little pieces of garbage here. I am going to be bringing a couple of these spoolies, but I've put them somewhere else, so I don't need to put them in my makeup bag. I was going to bring my In Beauty Project lip oil, but I think I'm actually gonna just leave that behind given that I've got the Makeup by Mario and the RMS. I just don't need that many lip products, and there's actually a few others in my day bag as well, so that can be left behind. I've got just a teeny, teeny, tiny beauty blender or whatever, sp sponge. Um, I was going to bring my Lemonhead LA Space Jam glitter. 
I'm so tempted. I just don't know that I need it. It's like very, very doubtful that I'll use it, but like, I don't know. What if we go out for dinner and I'm just like feeling in the mood? Maybe I'll bring it, whatever. Hey, I like to carry this around. This is the Eva Issa Sun Lip Sun Whip Watermelon Jelly. It is a very, very gorgeous and bright lip product that doubles as a sunscreen. It is an SPF 15 lip balm and it's just got this gorgeous watermelon tone. I think I actually am going to bring this just because it's good to have and I do have another SPF lip balm but because it's a mineral sunscreen it like will leave a white cast while I'm on the hill totally fine but during the day if I'm like out hiking and I want to make sure that my lips are protected it's just something good to have. So I think that is coming with me too. And then I have another $19.99 stick here. This is the highlighter stick in the shade Meow. And it's just this really beautiful kind of like honey champagne shade. I bought this really more as like an eye product because I don't wear highlight, but I just, I think that I can leave this behind and just pick up using it when I return from my trip. So overall, really, that is like, that is my makeup bag. Not too crazy at all. It is everything that I need. My brushes fit in there perfectly. I'm just gonna kind of do a bit of a rejig here. And there's honestly still some room if I decide that I want, you know, one or two more things to go in there. But that is my makeup bag. Done. Now, toiletries. That's a completely different story here. I have this adorable bag from the brand Truly. I've talked about them a little bit before. This bag came with one of the sets that I ordered directly from their website and it's just been like the perfect toiletry bag. I just love that it's got this structure to it and it fits obviously so much stuff. Like this is bursting at the seams. So we're just gonna dump everything out and repack it together. Oh, and it matches me. How exciting. Now I think there are, oh look, here, here we go. Here are all my little spoolies and these are all brand new. So I'm actually, because I've got that room in my makeup bag, I'm just gonna put them in there. And then I'm not like having a cross purpose situation here. I think this is pretty much everything, but I'm definitely going to have a little bit of overflow, which I think I'm actually gonna pack in my snowboard bag specifically, just because it's like, necessary but not 100% needed just, like it doesn't need to stay in this bag so the first thing that I'm gonna put in here oh where do I even start I guess I'll just stick this in here it's just this little kind of bag filled to the brim with various hair accessories we've got little teeny tiny claw clips I've got hair elastics I've got one of these clips lots of bobby pins and just various hair elastics. I like to keep as much of this on me as possible. So it just kind of permanently lives in this bag during the weekends. Then I've got a Captain Blankenship dry shampoo for dark hair. Dry shampoo is 100% mandatory for me. It is not an aerosol, it's a kind of like spray powder. I haven't used this one yet, it's brand new, but I wanted to bring a brand new one just in case like even though it's going in checked baggage, like what happens if it gets flagged? It just seems very obvious that this is like nothing other than a hair dry shampoo. <laughs> and then of course I've got two sets of matching little scrunchies, super important. So that's gonna go in there immediately as well. I have just a singular bar of soap here. This is from Quo. It's just a glycerin soap in the scent coconut. This is just for, you know, general body washing and I sh initially actually bought this to use for soap brows so certainly I could double up but if I'm taking this into the shower with me I don't really want to use it for like both things that's kind of gross so this is just already in a package I don't have to worry about storing it and honestly it was like pretty inexpensive so I can leave it there and it's not the end of the world so that's going to go right into the bottom of the bag I've got shampoo I've got a solid shampoo bar here from the brand Viore. I've been using it for maybe like a month now and I really really like it and sh shampoo bars are just super super easy to travel with and then I don't have to worry about like 
either buying a small shampoo or finding a container to put my shampoo in. So that's super travel friendly and it's gonna just go straight in the bag here. Then I've got um, a conditioner. This is from the brand Day. It's their signature conditioner. I can't even remember when I bought this. It was just sitting in my collection and I don't think I have any solid conditioner bars. So this was like just kind of happenstance that I had this. So that's gonna go right in my bag too. And then that's pretty much all the hair products I need. I did put some of my Inner Sense texturizing cream in this little empty container from one of the minis that I had used up and it's like decently full. It's a good amount of product and that's really the only, these three things are the only thing that I, I need for my hair. The Airbnb that we're staying at does have a hair dryer. The only thing I do to my hair is just blow dry my bangs and then otherwise I just use this little texturizer and just let my hair air dry and honestly on snowboarding days my hair is going to be in braids. I can just put it up in a clip if I need to. We're going kind of no muss, no fuss with the hair. Now I've got toothpaste, obviously. I'm actually gonna take it out of the box just so that it takes up less space. Didn't have to buy this either. This was from the last time I went to the dentist, so thank you, dentist. <laughs> I've got two disposable razors, just, you know, for those, the legs and the bikini line. I have Two face cleansers for my double cleanse. We've got the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This hopefully is going to be enough for what I need. And then I've got this Dr. Hauschka Cleansing Balm as well. But I find that this doesn't take off my makeup as well as this does. So this is just a really nice combo that I have been using. And I've got more than enough in both to last me for the duration of the trip. Skin care after cleansing. I've got, this actually isn't a glow recipe product. I just reused the bottle because it's glass, but it is just a basic toner. So that's going in. Got this herbivore moon fruit, little teeny, teeny, tiny serum here, which I haven't yet opened. Also purple matching, how cute. But this is perfect. I don't remember, I think this was like a gift with purchase or I don't know one of the rewards bazaar things um, from Sephora and it came with the I think vitamin C and turmeric brightening serum I don't know but this I haven't yet tried but I've heard everybody rave about it so you know why not bring it with me and then I've got just a really nice teeny tiny active oh yeah I've got this versed vacation eyes brightening eye gel Got to have my eye cream with me, even though I'm still not 100% sure that it's working. Now, I've got a whole bunch of moisturizers here, and I think I'm going to ditch this one. This is the 100% Pure Watermelon Cucumber Water Locking Moisturizer. I will talk about this again at some point. It smells like Twizzlers or Nibs. The formula itself is great, but I, I cannot stand that it smells like Twizzlers. Um, so it's actually quite challenging for me to use because the scent is so overwhelming. And it's just, I've got a number of moisturizers here. This is completely unnecessary. So that is getting left behind. For daytime moisture though, I do have this Andalou Naturals Coconut Water Visibly Firm Day Cream. It's, there's still quite a lot left, so I should be able to get through my days with that. But I've also got this Sage Calmamile Moisturizer, which has been great for a nighttime moisturizer, especially again, if I'm out all day in the sun, I have something that's really gonna soothe and hydrate my skin overnight. Then obviously I've got my Naturium Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50 because I cannot go on this ski trip without a sunscreen, but it is, pretty well used and so I was worried that I was going to run out so I've also got this Garnier clearly brighter even toned daily moisturizer it's not as high as an FPF SPF the Naturium is a 50 the Garnier is an SPF 30 but my boyfriend is also going to be kind of using my sunscreens as well so I wanted to just make sure that I had a backup on hand so that's going to go right in there too. Now for body moisturizers, I was really having a hard time about packing for body moisturizers. So like I need to be moisturized all over my body. So I've got 
two minis here and hopefully this will be sufficient, although I might bring this as a backup, which is kind of multi-purpose. So this is the Kapari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid. It's just a mini that I got as like a gift with purchase for one of my last orders. Love the smell, love the formula. And then this is the Necessary, the body look. I've never used anything from Necessaire, but this is again something that came in one of the little Sephora kits that I bought, so why not bring it? And it's, you know, fragrance free. I feel like it's not something that's going to irritate my skin for the first time using it on a trip, uh, and it's just the perfect size, so that is really excellent. And then I also have this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is kind of multi purpose, I use this for everything. So, heaven forbid I run out of anything, I've got this one. And I can just, you know, rely on that as a backup. That's gonna have to go upside down. I'm sort of running out of horizontal room. Oh yes, okay. This is the Solara, Solara Sun Care Hydrate and Plump Pouch Protector Moisturizing Lip Serum, SPF 15. Again, taking it out of the box, there's absolutely no need for me to keep it in the box for travel. And this is the one that I was mentioning that is a mineral sunscreen, so it will kind of leave a white cast. I mean, it blends in pretty well, but I feel like on my lips, I'm gonna end up with like some kind of ring of doom. But again, super, super important for me. Uh, if I'm on a mountain, you know, closer to the sun, I don't want to risk a burn on my lips. So that's really important for me to have in there too. Now I've got this Relief Premium Medicated Topical Balm. It is a CBD, THC, non-intoxicating, just general roll-up balm, which is really, really helpful. Like if I get bloated or crampy or have any kind of like bruising, this has been a miracle balm. So I kind of don't want to go anywhere without it. That's going to stay in my bag. I've got floss picks because, you know, oral hygiene. I've got a toothbrush here, which is just gonna strategically go on there. Now I've got backup contacts, which is super important, left and a right. Don't, again, don't need the boxes, but I always feel like I need to be prepared and take a spare pair of contacts. So those are gonna go in there with me. Then obviously my glasses will come with me. And I've got this little teeny tiny bag here of Q-tips, but I feel like this is almost going to be too much, but we shall see if this closes okay. Again, I said that I might pack this in a different bag, so I might have a little bit more room, but that does all fit pretty perfectly. I've got some additional hair accessories, but I feel like these are going to come with me in my carry-on. I always like to have a little one or two claw clips with me. I don't really need these two extras because I did see some of those in my other little bag. And then I've just got two kind of regular satin scrunchies, which are just good for multi-purpose, throwing my hair up whenever. Now, what will go in my overflow is body sunscreen. I've just got this bottle of Hawaiian Tropic. It's the Silk Weightless, Silk Hydration Weightless Sunscreen Lotion uh, SPF 30. And then the other thing that will go in my overflow is my contact solution and my contact case. But both of those are actually at my boyfriend's house right now. I have my bottle here, but it's fuller and heavier. So I think I'm just going, I'm staying at my boyfriend's on uh, Tuesday night. So the day before or the night before we fly out. So I'm just gonna grab that when I'm there. But otherwise, I think that's like, that's everything. I feel pretty good about what I've packed, <laughs> at least in terms of, you know, makeup and toiletries. Clothes and the rest of it is still, I'm feeling a little bit, you know, unsettled about, but this, this feels good to me. I feel like I'm going to have enough of absolutely everything. Okay. Like I was saying, I feel good about what I have here. Now, they're kind of heavy, and one of the things I'm also naturally worried about is the fact that, like, is my bag going to be too heavy? <laughs> but that's why I've got, like, I have two checked bags. I don't think I can bring any of this in my carry-on, although most of the things are, like, under, under 100 milliliters. So if I were to transfer at least my toiletries into one of the clear bags that I'm waiting on uh, delivery for... I would probably be fine bringing it with me in my carry-on, but I also have my snowboard bag. So I've got like my regular luggage with my clothes, my sneakers, my flip-flops for, you know, 
hot tub times but I can also I've got like a, a collection of small things that are gonna go into my snowboard bag so any kind of like overflow definitely can go in that too but overall I'm feeling prepared you know I'm not doing like night before packing I cannot imagine putting myself through that I have way too much anxiety for that and that reminds me that I need to make sure that I pack my anxiety medication <laughs> and I also have to uh, for the first time ever travel with my Humira which is an injectable that has to be kept cold it can only be kept out of the fridge with like ice packs for about eight hours so that's a little bit nerve-wracking as well but I've got that all set up I've got like a letter for you know the security folks as I'm going through the airport about like what it is and why I have it and like yes it's prescribed to me blah 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 and I've got the carry package and like all the little ice packs that are required for that so these are just like additional things that are kind of going through my mind but in terms of you know makeup and kind of skincare toiletry things I feel good I like that I was able to kind of like whittle it down a little bit and not go overboard in this section at all so yay yay me I am not bringing my camera I will only have my phone with me which is like kind of what I use when I'm vlogging but I just don't know if I'm going to vlog while I'm away I just I don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself and I just, if you don't already, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'll link my account here. And you can just tune in there for updates, which I'm sure that I will post because it is my first time going where I'm going. And I'm excited about it. I'm thrilled. I've never been to this place. I've never been on a snowboarding trip. So it's like all new experiences for me and I'm sure I will document it in one way or another. So if that interests you at all, just check me out on Instagram. It's at Elena Joanne. Super simple. My account is open. Just be nice. <laughs> okay. That is everything for me today and I will see you in my next one, which will be when I'm back from my holiday. Okay. Love you so much. Bye.